Hey everyone, I want to walk you through how to apply appearance materials to your Fusion 360 design once you're ready to make it a little more realistic and more, uh, more to what you want the model to look like. So right now, this is a lamp that I've designed that has no materials or only has a default material, which is aluminum satin. So to change materials, I would right click and then go to appearance and then it will, the, it will show all the different materials that, um, that this model currently has and as you can see they're all aluminum satin by default so I'm gonna go to the library at the bottom here and start picking out the materials I want each part to be so I'm gonna start with the cord and I'm gonna go to other uh, go to the rubber folder pick rubber soft and drag and drop right onto the cord. Uh, as you can see, once I did that, the now rubber soft as the material appears in the uh, in this design section. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm going to now apply material to the uh, neck here. I'm gonna make the neck a brass polished. So drag and drop, there we go. We got the neck set. Um, now I'm going to work on the shade, so I'm going to go to glass, I'm going to go to smooth, I'm going to make the glass a green, uh, uh, make the shade a green glass material. Now we have a couple more parts, so I'm going to use go to the base, um, I'm going to make the base a wooden finish, so let's choose walnut glossy, like that, yeah that looks pretty decent. And uh, I'm going to leave the, uh, the switch here as aluminum satin because I, I actually like that look. Um, but I need to apply materials to the light bulb. And uh, the light bulb, I wanted to make it luminescent. Or at least I wanted to, to uh, have some actual luminosity. So to do that, I can, um, I can go to uh, the Legacy Appearance Library. Um, and um, the reason why we have two libraries is because the the current one is the one that we have in this version, Fusion 360. But we've also uh, included all the other different uh, materials that used to come with our older versions. And the difference with this of uh, legacy appearance libraries that it has some of the older materials that um, are not included in this current version uh, such as LED lighting and luminosity uh, materials so I'm going to go to miscellaneous here actually it's not in miscellaneous it's in plastic um, and now you can see the different LED uh, materials I'm just gonna pick one that's on let's just say yellow and I'm gonna apply it to the bulb and now, since I don't want it to be a LED light, and it's definitely not yellow, um, I'm going to go into the, the, the material itself. I'm going to highlight over it. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to edit. Actually, before I go to edit, I just want to also make you aware of the different options you have once you right click. So you can edit a design. You can also unassign or delete. So if I click that, it removes that material. Um, so that's good to know. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to apply. Oh, click apply. And there you go. Let's right click again. So, unassigned delete. You can duplicate the material. You can select the ob objects applied to. So, this, when you do that, it, sh it highlights the, the body that this material is applied to. And this is pretty useful once you start applying many, many different materials to many, many different bodies. And you need to figure out which one is applied to what. So that's, that's, that's a good, good feature. Uh, or you can delete all unused. So here I'm going to go to edit. And this will open up the, um, the editing panel. And I'm going to move this light, the color, all the way to white. That looks pretty decent. And now I'm going to go to advanced. And this will allow me to uh, have more control over the material. Um, I can tweak the, the color uh, code. I can tweak the reflective, reflectivity, uh, the transparency, uh, highlights, all sorts of things. So here I'm actually really interested in the self-illumination. Uh, going to luminescence, I'm going to change the from I'm going to change LED panel to desk lamp lens. And notice now the values change as well. So now this is 
this is 10,000 and it gives you a little tip on, on what what that value means uh, and then also this is the the Kelvin so um, 5550 K is pretty pretty decent for a lamp uh, so I'm gonna say apply and then close out of that and now I have I have one more part that I need to apply a material to and that's the that's the part where you screw uh, that's attached to the bulb here so I'm gonna go back to my appearance library uh, my, my current appearance library I'm gonna go to plastic uh, I'm gonna go opaque and I'm gonna choose uh, plastic matte gray I'm gonna do that and uh, actually I'm gonna spin this around so I can see it and then I'm gonna apply drag it right there and now I'm going to again go into edit and then make this white because that's what they all look like all right so yeah now I'm gonna add one more detail to my model here and it that's uh, that's making this edge this filleted edge here at the base um, actually to have this exact aluminum satin finish so I'm gonna scroll back up to my appearance uh, dialog here and notice how right now I have everything set to bodies and components well now I want to apply a material to a specific face so I'm gonna click on face and I'm gonna drag one of these aluminum satin material uh, to the face to the surface here and notice now that has a aluminum satin uh, finish you can also uh, remove that finish if you don't want to. So again, if I do unassign, unassign delete, it'll revert back to its original material. So I'm going to put that back. There you go. And now I have a model that's fully applied with the materials that I want. And uh, the next part uh, I'm going to talk about is rendering.